As I mentioned, my dad, he's really been the visionary behind We Need a New Healthcare System. And he realized that there was just a need to have a conference where we could showcase what's really working and what's working well. We're right in this amazing space of taking practitioners who want to become more functional medicine oriented or want to become more holistic and how can we engage them and educate them and empower them with the tools to do that with their patients and then on the patient side and the consumer side we're just trying to educate that there's another system out there there's another option for you and you know drive them to these practitioners. Hey everyone, it's Tamara Thompson with Broadcast Your Authority, and I'm super excited for this next episode. We actually had our guest fly in from Los Angeles today, and we're here in the sunny Las Vegas area. And uh, yeah, super grateful for this partnership that we're going to be building with this individual and their company. And uh, just super, super grateful for you to be here, Roxy. Thank you for having me. I'm excited to be here. Yay. Well, I'm going to have my co-host DJ introduce Roxy. So DJ, off to you. Thank you, Tamara. It is my honor to welcome you, uh, Roxy Pernia. She is the Chief Operations Officer of EverHealth, Inc. and the Changing Life and Destiny Conference, which sounds really fascinating, which we'll get into. She brings over 15 years of experience in innovative strategies across education and healthcare at EverHealth, and she spearheads operations, strategy, and partnerships aiming to shift healthcare towards prevention with a personal journey overcoming a hormonal disorder through holistic remedies. Roxy is on a mission to democratize healthcare. She's passionate about integration and AI and the metaverse into healthcare. She envisions a future where technology revolutionizes patient care. Through her leadership, Roxy is dedicated to uh, propelling the healthcare system toward a preventative model, fostering integrative approaches to a brighter future. Wow. <laughs> Changing the world. So Trying. the big question is, how are we going to create a preventative healthcare model in a Band-Aid oriented healthcare system? By Band-Aid, obviously, we're on the same page. It's about pharmaceuticals and it's about masking the issues mm -hmm. versus solving the root cause of the issues, which would be more preventative and more holistic. So that's obviously your mission, and we'd love to hear about that. Sure. That's the gazillion dollar question. <laughs> so it really is going to take all of us in terms of like the consumer being smarter about the decisions they're making and being more educated and empowered. And then it's going to take the practitioners to integrate the technologies and the advancements because technology has come so far in terms of how it can help people to take control of their health. And if there's anything we learned after COVID, if you don't take control of your own health, you're going to have problems. And so, as you mentioned, we have right now a system that's really about let's band-aid, let's mask symptoms. Oh, I have a headache. Let me take something for that. Oh, I have this. Let me take something for that. As opposed to why is this happening? What is going on? What's imbalanced in my body? And so it's a, it's a really, it's a big thing we're trying to do here. And there's a lot of factors at play, I think, against us. But I do think there was something that happened after COVID where people are waking up to the importance of this type of healthcare, more holistic alternative. There is a place for, you know, pharmaceuticals. I'm not the type to say they need to be gone completely, but it's how do we work together to have a better system that allows for both players here. Mm. And you had, you said um, in the bio that you had a, a personal journey that kind of also inspired a little bit more of your thoughts. Can you share a little bit more about your story? Yeah, for sure. When I was in my early 20s, I uh, had polycystic ovarian syndrome. So I cysts on my ovaries. It's a hormonal imbalance disorder. And I went to my primary care doctor and he said, you know, go on birth control. That's your your solution here. And at the time it was I didn't need to. I didn't really want to. And so I kind of was like, there has to be another way here. And thankfully, my dad, who is my business partner, <laughs> we work together. Um, he had been in this industry for a while. And so he referred me to a naturopath and he said, you know, go talk to him. And uh, this naturopath told me, you know, here's a couple things you got to do. Um, I changed up my diet, mostly organic kind of Mediterranean diet. 
I uh, changed up my water. So drinking from plastic water bottles happens to mess with your hormones, if you didn't know. And uh, reverse osmosis water was what he recommended. So really trying to make sure I was drinking the right water. Um, some supplements here and there and uh, my exercise and all of these things. And within three months, my cysts were gone. And so I went back to that practitioner. I went back to my primary care. He did the ultrasound. He's like, oh, your cysts are gone. And I was like, yes, let me tell you what I did. And he was like, I still think you should go on birth control. And I was like, okay. So, you know, that was a wake up call for me. At that time, I wasn't even in the healthcare industry myself. My dad was. Um, I was in education. And it's funny, I see a lot of parallels between the education system and the healthcare system and people kind of wanting to um, move out of what are traditional models and, and kind of rethink how things can work. And so um, that was that was an important moment for me. And then it really made me believe in the in the power of your body can heal itself if you give it the right tools. Um, but, you know, there's also, like I said, a lot of amazing technologies out there that can help people optimize their health. And so one of the things that we do is we showcase these technologies and products at our annual conference, the Changing Life and Destiny Conference. And this is where we come together to really show what's out there, what's new, what's amazing. And we vet the best of the best in, in what we do. So, um, you know, there's a lot of stuff out there. And I think people are starting to um, kind of, you know, their, their ears are up towards like what really works, what doesn't. You know, there's all these different supplements and things. It's how do you really get to the best of the best? And that's part of what we're trying to do in sort of democratizing all of this. Mm. What inspired the creation of the conference? So, um, as I mentioned, my dad, he's amazing, and I hope everyone gets to meet him. Um, Al, shout out to Al Pernia, but he's really been the visionary behind we need a new healthcare system. And so he started working with practitioners, um, again, practitioners that are more holistic or ones that wanted to move to a more holistic model. And he realized that there was just a need to have a conference where we could showcase what's really working and what's working well. Um, you know, there's a couple out there now, but they're very niche in terms of who they're trying to target to in terms of very medical or like the biohacking world, which the biohacking world, there's a lot of great things going on, but there's also um, not a lot of practitioner involvement. So we're right in this amazing space of taking practitioners who want to become more functional medicine oriented or want to become more holistic and how can we engage them and educate them and empower them with the tools to do that with their patients. And then on the patient side and the consumer side, we're just trying to educate that there's another system out there. There's another option for you and, you know, drive them to these practitioners. And this, I know this conference is coming up in April in Dallas. Correct? Yes. April 12th to the 14th. Yeah, good plug. <laughs> we'll be sure to put the, the link in the in Let's the go. Everything. Let's go. Uh, could you share some uh, just highlights like of like the agenda, what to expect? I know that you guys were talking about a little bit about like AI and metaverse and how that's going to intertwine with this conference. Yeah, for sure. So April 12th to the 14th, we'll be at the Hilton Granite Park Hotel in Plano, which is North Dallas. And um, on Friday, we have masterclass workshops that are led by some of the most amazing people, minds behind um, this movement and the various technologies and products. And so um, Friday is all day masterclasses. And then Saturday and Sunday, the expo hall opens and there's what we call the Health 100. So these are the 100 technologies, companies changing healthcare in America. We only have one per category. So a lot of time when you go to these expos, it's like, very overwhelming and like five red light beds and this and it's like one of each that's doing the best of the best in what they do. I love that you actually are just helping support like individual like products, services, companies on that regard because you walk into these conferences and there's just so much competition out there. But the mm -hmm. fact that you guys are going for the best of the best shows that you guys care and you want to provide the best for everybody. Yeah, we that. really we're very intentional about what we're promoting and then we also, you know, that's the conference in terms of people are going to see and experience and try everything. So um, we have, for example, a device that's amazing for lymphatic drainage. And a lot of people don't understand their lymphatic system. It's, it's the garbage disposal of your body and it gets things moving and flowing and you need to detox. Your lymphatic system needs to move. So it's a device. It wraps on a couple parts of your body. It's almost like a nice gentle hug with some heat. But that's all it takes. Wrap? It's, you wrap like the, wrap you? you wrap you on, on, on 
on different parts of the body where there's like a key lymphatic movement points okay. and you just lay and relax mm. and that's an, you know, something everyone should be doing once a week just to optimize your health and that's where we talk about prevention Sold. so let's go <laughs> let's go i will wrap you personally if you come all right let's go. <laughs> <laughs> but that's just one of 99 other things too that we have there that are like incredible i mentioned red light therapy that's becoming more and more mainstream and people understand the value of it but it's just energizing your cells it's getting your atp going and again it's just something you do it once a week and your body is just going to be in a much better place than us not doing these things. And there's, these things are out there, so why not? But it's not something you're going to go to your healthcare provider and they're going to prescribe you a red light therapy session, you know, yeah, unfortunately. That's, that's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. And insurance probably won't cover any of that stuff anyways, right? That's the other part. And it's it's and this is where I'm very honest and open and transparent about the fact that it's it's unfortunate that people mostly have to go out of pocket with these things. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like the practitioners we're working with, they're not the ones who are traditional in the insurance model because they're not going to get reimbursed on these technologies. You know, um, they are ones that charge for each session of that kind of a, of a um, modality. But I am hopeful we're moving towards a path where this is going to change. And I think people, as long as people start to advocate more for these things, for example, the lymphatic drainage device I mentioned, they're almost in FDA clearance. And so at that point, they may get closer to where we can actually, they can get reimbursed on thing, on a session of that. So that's good. we're getting there, um, but there are things that what are just going to be like, outside. What other types of things, products, and think, think that they'll be more accepting moving forward? Some of the things that you're offering at the conference. So there's, um, there's a device that it uses frequency for pain relief. So it's and some people are just literally in pain all the time and they think that that's what they have to live with. And this device will literally help alleviate your pain in one session. And it's just frequency and it's actually cleared as an FDA two class device for pain. Is it like pain from the side of like something from like an injury or pain? Maybe they have MS or, or, or some other and it, it, any, any it pain, could be right? any pain. pain at all. Yeah, it's it's so this is where and I hope I don't get outed or canceled for all of this <laughs> oh, what I'm good. saying but um so it's cleared for pain in terms of what you're talking about like injury pain but there's an off-label booklet that uh has codes for frequencies because frequency medicine is also becoming a little more mainstream but essentially it has a code for every single type of thing you can imagine so my dad for example has been having prostate issues as he's gotten older and there's a code for prostatitis and he's just at night at home and again this is a thing you could have at home it's not yeah. super expensive and you code can, goes in is you it, put is in it the audio code. no so it's like you put the it's like pads that you put on whatever Vib part of like the body vibration uh, frequency? Yeah, it's similar yes okay yeah and so uh, electromagnetic frequency and so then you hold these rods and you just put the code in and you just sit wow. back for whatever many some some programs take 30 minutes like energy rods have you ever seen and those where you you're getting zapped yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it might look like that okay yeah but that's an example and they even have like a a spa code where it's just three minutes mm -hmm. but it's just as you leave you just feel like you've left the spa so wow. again these are the hacks that exist really amazing technology and that's just another one that you can actually come to our conference and experience live there at the show but the reality is that a lot of people don't realize is that these alternative therapies are often cheaper than going to traditional route mm -hmm. and they think well it's going to cost me two hundred dollars well what's your deductible though mm -hmm. right and so it what's really your, can be very affordable what's your medical monthly payment right. mine is very high right. you know and exactly. i've paid for years without using it now that i need to actually do something it's like oh sorry we don't cover that right yeah. but i've already paid you a hundred grand so you won't cover this right exactly, exactly. there's always a way Crazy. out quick question um Magnetic grounding therapy. Mm -hmm. Would that be part of the modalities that you're talking about? Yep. Is that something? Okay. So for anyone who doesn't know much about it, um, you know, back in the day, we used to walk on the ground, <laughs> you know, humans. We had foot to ground action. And then we have shoes with rubber soles and plastic and all this. And we've kind of taken away that energy that we need from the earth. So there's studies that have shown that if you just step on the ground in terms of the beach, the grass wherever and just take some time with your feet on the ground 
there's a lot of healing properties that come from that. And then people, this is where the tech industry is really amazing because people have now harnessed that power into a technology, a grounding mat, for example, that um, has some people have had amazing, you know, healing of a, some, pain relief, some really difficult. Sleep. Yeah, wow. yeah mm -hmm. exactly. So all these girls walking around barefoot in Vegas, it's healing. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not that kind of <laughs> barefoot walking around. It's got to be the just ground. Just <laughs> You were talking about like AI and metaverse. What kind of things are you bringing into the conference with related to that? Yeah, so we are really looking at, we're kind of on the forefront in terms of healthcare in terms of AI and the metaverse. And people hear the metaverse and they think Mark Zuckerberg and they're coming to get me. Like it's not that. It's just the opportunity to have a more virtual experience, whether educational or actual like one-on-one -on -one with a practitioner. And again, just creating more opportunities for people to engage in this type of medicine, this type of healthcare. And so we are helping practitioners to integrate, for example, a metaverse clinic. And so we help them. And then that's a way for them to engage their and educate their patients about all these things. The grounding mat, for example, if a practitioner has it in their clinic and you come in for something completely unrelated, you know, you may never learn about the grounding mat. But if you're able to engage in the metaverse clinic and educate yourself, then you've taken the you're empowering yourself and you have the power in your hands to advocate for what you need. Right. And I think that's what's missing in our in our healthcare system is like this is you, I'm telling you what you need to do and you go do it. And this is now, well, no, there's other ways and you can learn about them and advocate. And then me and you can work together as your healthcare advisor to kind of come up with a plan and if this is really good for you. More self-directed and self-educated versus top-down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And um, in AI, obviously, there's enough stats out there about if you're not getting on AI, you're going to have trouble and very soon and all the companies that need to be working with AI. So practitioners are the same. There's ways for them to leverage the power of AI to, again, educate or interact with patients. We're not saying that, you know, have a consultation with an AI practitioner and, and get a full prescription plan here. It's it's like a, I have questions. I go Google all the time anyway. I'm Googling my issues. But if I can have my practitioner, you can create an AI of your practitioner in terms of educate the clone mm. with everything the practitioner knows and have enough of a conversation where I can ask those frequently asked questions to the point of which, okay, I actually need to go speak to the, the person live. But there's a lot that we can use with AI and connecting that with the metaverse so that people can, you know, get the help they need faster and on their own terms. How have you guys been marketing, you know, your conference? I know you guys have a podcast. Is that the same same name as the as the conference? It's a little or, different. Is it Change? It's the Change Life Destiny Show, Life. and it's the Changing Life and Destiny Conference. So close. 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 You know, just trying <laughs> to you switch it up a little bit, but um, similar concept. And, yeah, we have a podcast where we interview the practitioners, and they talk about how they're integrating these technologies or, you know, patient cases that they've had of specific examples, um, as well as the vendors that come and the exhibitors and the technologies, the minds behind them. So it's just, again, another opportunity to kind of educate everybody and, and engage them in this. A lot of people don't know that Texas was an early adopter in the anti-processed sugar movement and, and junk food in schools, et cetera. Is that why Texas or is there another reason for <laughs> Dallas? You know, it's, we I asked my dad this, and it, it just happened that Texas kept calling him in terms of, like, he would meet people, and they'd all kind of come back to Dallas area. And I wonder if part of it is, like, Texas, you know, there's I think there's a little more open-mindedness in terms of, like, health and how to do things a little differently. You know, I'm in California, and probably won't go down this conversation, but, like, there's, there's differences in terms of, I think, open-mindedness. People think California, and they think yogis and everyone's really healthy and yes um but there is still a little bit of resistance when it comes to this type of health care and going more alternative um whereas texas i think is a little bit or more plus it's in the middle of the country so we can get people there easier than versus california Smart. <laughs> <laughs> that's probably yeah. the better flight from wherever you are <laughs> yeah a little more affordable than you know some other cities i love that well, well, since they kind of coincide podcast, conference, like what message do you hope that your attendees or your listeners really take away from both these aspects that you have? Yeah, I think I just want people to feel like they have other options. I hear so many stories of people who 
they have a chronic issue or they've suffering and they just kind of have decided that that's okay. And I think that that it's not like there's there's other things we can do here and we want to help people to get access to that information. And then on the practitioner side, you know, we want to basically empower them to know that like they can treat patients differently. You know, one of my best friends is a is a practitioner at a big hospital in California and her, you know, when I talk to her about some of these um, technologies or the approaches we're taking, it's almost this like block. It's like, no, you know, that's snake oil. This isn't it's not FDA approved, maybe, or, you know, things like that. And it's a little bit of like a there's just a mental block there. And I think um, that's where I, I want to try to to engage those folks too that maybe like come check it out you might find something you really think you really vibe with and if it's not for you it's not for you you know that's fine but um for those practitioners that are like i'm kind of tired of seeing my patients and never seeing them get better because that's another story we hear a lot is practitioners who say you know i'm just tired of not actually helping anyone get better i came into this industry because i wanted to help people by the time I'm 10 years in, I don't even know what's happened. I'm just literally like 10 minute with patients and go blood test, go take this drug, go yeah. like th that's no longer going to work. And I think more and more people are waking up to advocating for something different. The practitioners are going to have to change what they're doing. And then hopefully the insurance companies are going to have to change what they're doing, which, you know, I was just hearing about a, a you know, a comp an app, for example, that gets added onto the insurance where people can. Um, have access to more opportunities or there's a lot of those concierge med medicine companies that are working on top of insurance to basically give people access to more things. So I think we're moving in the right direction. God, I hope so. I hope you become very successful because that's a big mountain that you're facing, yeah. right? With big pharma. <laughs> yeah, there's almost like Money. two camps, right? Mm. There's, there's the pharmacy yes. medical side and then there's the holistic, right? Homeopathic mm -hmm. <laughs> side. And you're you're choosing to live in this world, but you have a big mantle because you're not only living in that world, but you're trying to vet the best companies in that space. Mm -hmm. So, how do you do that? How do you how do you what's that vetting process look like? Because you're going to have to have a lot of trust for people to switch camps, and if you let them down, mm -hmm. right? Like that, they might lose faith in you yeah. trust and influence i think you're gonna need a lot of influence yeah yeah and it's interesting it's cool to see like you know this is our fifth conference coming up and um and you guys have over 2,000 attendees so uh, they yeah, obviously ask have a, a track record that they're building a tribe. A strong but it started as a the first conference was in laguna beach at the ritz carlton with 100 people and it was really like, hey, it should be at the Ritz Carlton this year. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Talk about cheap. Tell not. Hey, hey, let's change now. <laughs> Lots of sponsors. You guys can sponsor this conference. Yes, if anyone <laughs> wants to sponsor this to be at the Ritz Carlton oh. Laguna, I'm in. Um, it's cool that you were able to build something that people really like. Hundred people caught on that they're like really really want to like continue this with you, and then you built it onto now two thousand attendees. Exactly, and every year it's just gotten bigger and bigger, and to the point where like the word has spread, and we're now it's always great when you're a business and people come to you and say we want to be you know featured at your conference or we want to attend. Um, my dad will walk around at other conferences. He's like, you're the guy with the conference in Dallas, right? Like he's you know people are starting to to recognize, and I think it's because we've we've brought that attention to like, we really are vetting what we're doing instead of just, we're not a court, or we're not a conference business, you know? So for us, it's not who's going to pay us the most money to, to peddle this product. And that's become, I think like, if you start to kind of get into this industry, you'll see people are just like, whoever's going to pay me the most money, I'm going to say, you need to use this. And, and that, and the whole narrative of like, you need, this is the best thing you could ever use, cut everything else out. No, like we're saying you need to work with a practitioner. You need to kind of be smart. Everyone is an individual and has an individual roadmap to their health. And so this one product is not going to save my life, but and I shouldn't cut everything else I'm doing, but it's something to pay attention to. And then the practitioner integrates it into their into their program. And so we're really on the education side and this, this really just getting down to like, how do you use this technology or product to the best bet of your patient's rather than just like what's trending and exciting and, you know, mm -hmm. going to pay us money. 
So that would be more in line with the Eastern medicine philosophy and approach, right? It's individualized, it's unique, it's special to your body chemistry and situation um, versus the Western, which is surgery or pharma. Yep. Well, I'm I'm excited. I'm yeah. excited for your conference coming up. I know our team's coming up. Yes, they're really excited. Well. Uh, so those that are interested in coming out April 12th through the 14th, where would they go to get tickets or learn more about it? Maybe uh, you have some sponsorship opportunities or partnership opportunities with the right individuals and yeah. companies. How would they learn more about this? So you can go to changelifedestiny.com and you'll see information about tickets and how to attend. And then if anyone wants to get in touch with me directly, should I give my email? Go for it. Yeah. Okay. It's uh, Roxy, R-O-X-Y at everhealthusa.com and i hope to see so many people there and if you find me there say hi like i'm so excited to have you all there Happy with to meet us you in person today you're all my guests if you can make it like you know we're like i said we're not Thank here you. to try to make millions of dollars on this conference we just want to get the word out yes and i love i love that i love that mission and thank you so much for flying out here today yeah of course the show and for those of you that are watching or interested in attending the conference, definitely do so. Connect with Roxy, connect with her team. And if those of you that actually enjoyed this episode, give it a like, subscribe, ring that bell, and we'll see you in the next episode.